Awesome. So ConnectWise Pods, I believe, is what we are here to go over. Um, yes, the the main reason we came up with this concept um, of the workflow with the pods is because people don't like their text going outside of a platform. And generally, the more places people have to go to, the more complicated it gets. People are going to get annoyed because they have to go get other credentials, sign in multiple times, whatever it may be. Um, and we wanted a way to provide numerous bits of uh, tasks that was available directly in a ticket and related to that ticket. So the way I tend to describe the ConnectWise pods workflow is like one of those old school adventure games where you kind of select an option and then you go down that branch and then I know you get to a bridge that's destroyed and you have to go back to the start and then you choose another option. Um, and for various options that we see, we're either going to output directly to the pod. Uh, so we can see like license information, things like that. Or in other cases, uh, we're going to output information to the actual ticket notes for logging later. Um, the idea there being one of our options we have is like a send MFA request where we've reverse engineered Microsoft's uh, own system. So that when we send an MFA request, it doesn't necessarily rely on another integration like Duo. What we do is we just send it to whatever is configured for that user in 365. Um, and then depending on whether that's successful or not, we then return it into the ticket. So let me share my screen. We can kind of go over how that actually works and the various options we have right now. So this is our Sandbox uh, ConnectWise account. All I'm going to do is create a new ticket. With nothing special, I'm going to purposefully ignore the contact. Uh, it's going to be in status new and that's that's literally it. We'll save that. Now, as soon as that gets saved, what we'll see here is in Roost. We now have this running workflow. And that's because when that ticket has been updated, it's sent this callback request back to Roost. And we can see ticket has been added and you can get all of the various bits of information from there, the ticket ID um, and whatever else is summary and things like that. Within the workflow, you can then trigger on certain criteria. So right now we only have it triggering on new tickets, but basically anything you see in here. So if you wanted currency name and only wanted to trigger a workflow based on it being US dollars, you would be able to have that in there. Um, and you can see via this tool here, it's really easy to actually just add that in. Um, so if I do that currency option, currency, US dollars, you click that and it adds it into the trigger criteria here. Uh, so this would only now ever get added if a, if a ticket got a status of new, it was added rather than updated or deleted, and that currency was US dollars. If we then go back to the actual pod, uh, what's that one? This is what you end up seeing. Um, and it's worth saying this is very much a version one right now. Uh, we can add more things, we can customize things, we can add custom tasks that only you guys would want or whatever it may be. Uh, so each bit split into subsections. Uh, so if we go into general, what we'll see on the actual workflow here. And this is live, so we've hit this pod general and we're waiting to see what input we want. So this would do start AD sync. So this would go off to roost, identify the server from previous settings that you've got AD sync on and kick off an AD sync. Um, this was something that I found really annoying back in my MSB days because logging onto the server, getting the command, which you know you always forgot, and then going into AD sync to actually find out if it did it or not. Now you don't have to go to RM at all and just kick it all off from that one button. Uh, and then go back to start, similar thing. So if I go to user, now, this is why I didn't do the contact. So we see that no contact was detected on the ticket. 
So we're actually pulling information that's relevant to this ticket or the account or whatever else it may be and being able to do things based on that. So if I then add one of our test users and then retry and then we then have those options specific to the user so we can reset their password which would then determine whether they're on or 365 automatically and then reset it and then output it to the ticket. Uh, we can view user information, which we talked about, or send it to a favor request. 